I'm Angel. I'm with the Austin Organic Gardeners, and today I'm here with Carter from the Central Texas Mycological Society and the Myco Research Station. And today we are inoculating logs with reishi spawn. So we have some logs that came down in a windstorm, and we are using them in the edge of our beds to prevent erosion and also to retain moisture in the soil. And we thought it would be a great idea to inoculate the logs with the reishi spawn so they would further break down and continue to add organic matter to the soil, in addition to giving us some really great medicinal mushrooms. So reishi mushrooms have been used in Chinese medicine for over 4,000 years. They're great in tea. You can buy them in retail stores as tinctures. They're known to be great for their anti-carcinogen properties and immunity boosts, helping with sleep and also anti-stress. So to inoculate your log, you're going to first need some spawn. Um, we're going to be using plug spawn today, which is just uh, furniture dowels that have been colonized by, by the my mycelium. And so we're going to drill holes all along this log about six inches apart um, and into a diamond pattern. So it kind of zigzags back and forth so, and you'll just drill it in about an inch. And then just make sure your drill bit size is the same size as your dowels. Uh, the recommended size for this is uh, 5 sixteenths of an inch. So after you have your holes, then you just uh, will put a plug into each hole, um, which we're ready to do now. And this bag has not been opened, and you want to be sure to not open it until right when you're ready to use it. You can see how healthy these plugs are here by the white all along there. And they smell really sweet. If they smell um, bad or fermented or kind of like acetone, then they might have been contaminated. And I'm using a rubber mallet here, so I'm not breaking the log or the dowel. And I can hit it pretty hard and nothing, nothing will break. I would recommend rubber over a metal hammer for this. So next we're going to put wax over each uh, plug point and we have a double, double boiler system hooked up here. You can use a rice cooker or crock pot or something like that. This is our melted wax in here and our application tool. We'll just get some wax on there. And you can use paraffin wax. Uh, soy wax, beeswax, and this is to seal it out from any potential contamination. 